We've worked closely with the people at Boris FX to tightly integrate the Academy Award-winning Boris Mocha motion tracking tool into Vegas Pro. We've created a new OFX plugin called Mocha Vegas to do this. The integration is tight and nearly seamless. Let's take a look at how it works. In this clip, we have a trio of motorcycle riders cruising down the highway. Let's say we need to obscure the face of one of the riders. We can use Mocha Vegas for the tracking and other Vegas tools to complete the effect. From the video effects window, I add the Mocha Vegas plugin to the event on my timeline. From here, I click the Launch Mocha UI button and the application opens. Once inside Mocha, you can see that my motorcycle riders clip is already loaded. I'll use the Create X Spline Layer tool to create a quick mask around the rider's face. Of course, you can use all of the sophisticated tools inside Mocha to accomplish what you need, but this is good enough for my demonstration. Now I click the Track Forward button. Mocha performs its tracking magic. And after a few moments, it's finished. I'll rename the tracking layer so I can identify it more easily later. Now I save the Mocha project and close Mocha. This puts me immediately back into Vegas Pro. Under the Tracking Data section, notice that no tracking data exists. I click the Create Track button, and with a layer I created back in Mocha selected, I click OK, and now the tracking data is in my Vegas Pro project. From here, I have a couple of options. If I want to transfer the tracking data to the Vegas Pro Motion Tracker tool, I click the Apply Export button. Instead, I'll just let the Mocha Vegas plugin create my mask, so I click the Create Mask button. This adds a Bezier mask plugin to the effects chain, and you can see that the rider's face is now masked out. Next, I add the Pixelate plugin to the chain before the Bezier mask plugin, and raise the pixelation values to the levels I want. Finally, I click the Bezier masking plugin, and under the General Options section, I select the Mask Effects checkbox to show the entire video with the pixelization limited to the mask over the rider's face. I'll close the Video Event Effects window and play my project. Notice that the pixelation follows the rider's face throughout the entire scene.